Welcome back. The 50th anniversary celebration of the Grand Rapids Ballet continues with this weekend's upcoming performance of Elemental Movement. We have a special preview this morning. We've got artistic director James DeFranco with us and dancers Adriana and Nathan. Thank you all so much for being here, James. Tell us about this weekend and what people can expect. Well, this is a fantastic program. It's opening our 22-23 season. It's our 50th anniversary, so we've been doing a lot of celebrations this year. And this program has uh, three ballets in it, so it shows a wide range of styles and what we do here at Grand Rapids Ballet, from classical dance to contemporary to everything in between, which is a little bit of what you're going to see today. So yeah. there's three ballets in one show. Okay, perfect. And and so if people are interested in catching a show, you do have tickets still available, and then you also have a free show, correct? That's right. Uh, tickets are available for Friday night, Saturday night, and Sunday afternoon at grballet.com. Um, Saturday afternoon, we're doing a, a free family matinee, yeah. uh, a low sensory performance, a shortened performance with a demonstration of what ballet is for uh, those members of our community who may uh, prefer that to bring their their young kids too. Sure, absolutely. Sometimes the shorter is a little bit better to exactly. intro those kids into the ballet. <laughs> uh, and tell us why this is, you know, you, you are coming off of your 50th anniversary. Why is this show special to you? Why is moving into the next year so important? Well, yeah, we're always looking forward to what is new and what is fresh out there. Um, this ballet actually was one of these ballets of the three um, called Elemental Brubeck. is danced to music by Dave Brubeck, the iconic jazz composer. It was created when I was a dancer at San Francisco Ballet. I was there for 18 years before I came to be the director here in Grand Rapids. So um, I was in the room with the choreographer, Lar Lubavitch, when it was created. And so it really has a special place for me in my heart. And I'm really, uh, we danced it all over the world. We pre premiered it in Paris and uh, it just, it, it filled us with so much joy to dance it, so many places around around the world, really. And uh, now to bring it here for these dancers, it's just, it's, it's like reliving it again for me, and I'm just happy to have our audiences experience it, too. I love that. And then for you, too, how has this been, this experience going into this performance this weekend? Um, well, we were talking in the, in the waiting room earlier, and this ballet has definitely become one of my top three per performances of all time. It's um, like James said, it's just got so much joy in it. The music is beautiful, the movement is fun and sort of low stress. I mean, there's a mixture of smooth and sharp and jazzy um, and big and small. So it's it's a lot, a lot of fun to perform. And a little bit different than what people might anticipate coming into a ballet. It is not a classical ballet. So tell us, you know, obviously you're gonna do it in just a second for us, but what will you like about this style of dance? I think with this show this weekend, we have such a diverse range of movement within all three of the pieces. And this one is just so fun while still being so intense and so physical. And so you really get to find your groove and find the balance of um, really like keeping with all of the movement and the integrity and the sharpness while still just having so much fun and trying to connect with the audience and bring them into the fun that we're having as well. Wonderful. And we want to see how much fun you're having. So we are going to get out of the way and we're going to let you show us Good. what you're doing. Okay? okay. Thank you both. And James, thank you. Okay. Thank you. 